Hey, it's Jason from Bohemia Bees, and we're going to replicate an experiment that one of our uh, peer beekeepers on the east, on the actually on the central part of Maryland, that would be Jason uh, Huff at uh, Wood Camp. So we have a, a partnership with uh, Wood Camp Farms out in Mount Airy, and uh, he does he gets our packages for us every year. And he does a lot of work with us as it relates to queens and you know equipment and various other things we work with him on. And he published a video yesterday about uh, a test that he's going to do with three packages of bees. And we felt that that's such a great way to test packages and what you should do when you are a new beekeeper and it's a new hive and you're trying to install a package and the, and the progress that they make over time. We said, you know what, let's replicate as best as possible that same test here on the eastern shore of Maryland, right? So different regions of the country are different from a, a nectar source, timing of flow, climate, temperature, uh, even position or location of your hive in your apiary could all factor in the performance and how your colony will grow and, and survive winters even. So we thought, you know what? Let's set it up, try to do as close as possible the way Jason did it, because my name's Jason, right? Um, at Bohemia Apiary instead of Wood Camp Farms. I'll put a link in the description below to, uh, to his video so you can see how he did it. He defined three hives. We're gonna do the same. Uh, we're going to install three packages that were actually from the same packages that he got um, set up for us. So they're the same stock, same bees, same genetics, at least from the same apiary, trying to keep everything consistent. And we're gonna have three hives. We have green, blue, yellow, right? Green is going to be a colony with a mix of both undrawn frames, so foundation, right, which is heavy waxed, found a uh, pre-drawn, so we'll have a few uh, combs of uh, drawn comb, and then we'll also have in it the uh, two frames of brood, right, or a frame of brood that uh, we had gotten from one of our other stronger colonies. That's test number one. Test number two, we'll have half and half drawn comb and foundation. Uh, again, no brood, just the, the bees that are from the package. And then, of course, naturally test number three, which is what typically a new beekeeper, which is a, a hive yellow, will have, which is, you know, a box, undrawn frames, and this will be filled all the way out with undrawn frames and, and such. So each of the colonies will be fed through an inner frame feeder. So it's just the same way that Jason's feeding. It's a one-to-one -one sugar mixture that we mixed up today. We're not going to show you how we mixed it, but that's you know the same way Jason did it. And we're going to fill these frame feeders. We're going to install these packages the same way he did it, and then monitor these uh, both for weight and growth, and to see which one uh, performs differently. Um, naturally, with the structure of the boxes, these are solid bottoms. Don't know if that out of difference on this test per se, because but all the boxes are the same, all the equipment's the same. We're going to be using uh, screened inner covers <clears throat> and then a, uh, a beehive roof on it, a uh, bee smart beehive top. Um, really, that's not going to make the difference because all of these are going to be the same equipment. The main test here is the equipment in inside of the hive, which we can put together now. So let's go ahead and grab our packages and let's get to uh, setting them up and we'll go from there. Okay, so we've got our packages. You can see they're pretty much the same size packages. There's a little bit less, actually a little more dead on the bottom of this one. But they're about the same three pounds of three pound packages italians um, queens made of queens all marked um, we've got our sugar water mixed up we've got our feeder uh, sugar water mixed up so the first thing that i'm naturally going to do is i'm going to mist the side he poured a cup when he did his um his uh his feeding or quick feeding it was a little colder out as well when he he fed so when he installed so that's a little bit of a difference but not much so i'm gonna just do a quick mist on all three let them get their bellies full and begin to open the colonies we do a quick shake pull your jar out Set to the side for your queen. Check her to make sure she's marked, she's good. Put her aside, not in the sunlight. Shake her bees in. Don't 
don't worry about getting all the bees out. You take your box and you set it right in front and they'll fly up inside. Now that we got the bees down in here, this is going to be the one, the yellow hive that has all undrawn foundation. So let's grab some more foundation and fill it in. space on the feeder. Remember we got to put our queen in. So let's go ahead and install the queen. She's right there. She's alive. You can see she's got attendants that are alive in the cage, which is great. I usually like to take and install mine a little differently than Jason. It doesn't really hurt it. But I like to take the cork out and I like to put them sideways just so that the, the dead workers that potentially will die um, they can still get to the queen, but they, the dead workers will fall here and not fall into the gap if you hang it upside down. Just a different technique. It's about the same though. And I'm actually going to slightly put her closer to the feeder because they're going to want to be that feeder eating and drawing out combs. So let's go ahead and put her to the right over here between the frames. And having eight frames in here actually is very helpful. All right. We got this one done, let's go ahead and put the cover on top. Well, let's put our surrogate syrup in. Okay. We use screen dinner covers, just the technique we use here at the Eastern Shore of Maryland. He uses solid. We use the B Smart lids. Okay? And now that colony is good to go. Let's move to the next one. We've already sprayed them once, so I'm just going to get to the ground. One quick drop. Flip, pull your can. Set to the side, pull your queen, make sure she's still alive, she is, put her in your pocket. Dump your bees. Some people don't like the shake method, honestly. I don't think it hurts the bees. They all come out. All right, I'm gonna one dust tap on this one. If you don't get them all, it's okay. They'll eventually come out. Put it right down in front. I'm actually gonna lean it right down here. Okay, let's move them, put the frames in. This one is the undrawn comb drone comb. So we've got one, two, three, four. This is undrawn. And then we're going to use some drone comb. No resources on these. These are just colonies in the past. Drawn. Drawn. Get our queen out. You want to take your cork, make sure she's marked. She's good to go. She's got attendants in there. Pull your cork. Sometimes 
sometimes your cork doesn't want to come out. You gotta work on it a bit. And of course, it's gonna be a pain. Pull this cork real quick. Okay, got the cork out. <clears throat> We're going to put her the same place as the other one. Close to the feeder, facing down. Okay, put our syrup in. We have a nectar flow right now, <clears throat> so I'm not concerned, but these bees don't know where that nectar flow is, to where to forage yet. They know the nectar flow, but they just don't know where to forage. All right. There's our lid. Let's go to the third one. Hive green. Set her to the side. Take your bees in. Put it up front. We'll fix those in a minute. <coughs> We've got four frames of undrawn foundation. We're going to put two frames of comb. One. Two. And then we're going to go get two frames of brood from a stronger hive. So stay tuned. Be right back. Okay, so we've got our frames with brood. You see a small patch of brood, good pollen. brood on it recently hatched out you see bees actually hatching out on it and you see the same on that side so we're putting that in and then we're going to take our queen and put her right here next to those two frames we got our cork we got to pull out there it is she's marked she's alive there's workers in there good to go Put this one back together and we're good to go. Oh, we gotta put feet in. We're good to go. Okay, let me clean up and then we'll wrap up the video. Okay, so we have 
our test colonies installed. Green, blue, yellow. We're gonna watch these uh, every week we inspect in the spring, every seven to 10 days. With these, we're gonna come back in two to three days to see if they've released the queen, make sure she's good to go. And then monitor both weight uh, as well as volume of the hives, right? So we're gonna document that every week to see how these are doing. Um, are a little bit stirred up right now because we just shook them into a package it's a nice day out so they want to fly do orientation flights when you install packages you need to make sure you feed as we mentioned before you need to make sure that you've got um, you know everything set up ahead of time prepared whether it's your smoker your your tools um, so that you have everything you need to install you don't want to have to stop in the middle of that install if you don't have something so uh, everything's good to go these colonies look great packages look great we're gonna monitor them and keep Keep in tune, check back frequently, subscribe to the channel so you can watch updates on how these three packages perform so you know that when you install a package, what's really the best way? We have our, we have an idea of which one's probably gonna be the best, it's gonna work the best, but we're gonna also be able to see what happens when you have something that's much like a new beekeeper and have undrawn combs and, and just bees from a package that you install and how long it takes to really have them build up to a, a volume of bees that's a strong colony. Appreciate you watching. Thanks for following along. Thanks for subscribing if, if you have already. If you haven't subscribed, please slam that subscribe button and set the alerts so you know when we have update videos on this project. Uh, appreciate everyone watching. Remember here at Bohemia Apiary, beekeeping is definitely more than a hobby. It's an obsession. Thanks for watching, everyone.